All right, welcome back. We're going to continue solving these very simple equations when we have x locked down to be a certain domain. So in this case, we're going to do the same thing. We'll say that x is uh, defined, his domain is defined to be the same thing as it was, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so we're going to solve the following equation. 2 times x is equal to 8. Now, I think you already know what the answer is here, but my job is to really show you how you would do this on your test. And the way you would do it is you would create a table, at least in the beginning here. You're not going to have to do this after you're an expert in algebra, um, but uh, you, you do need to do it in the beginning. So x can only take on the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so what we need to do is figure out when does it satisfy here. So if we plug in the value of x here into this value, what's going to, into this variable, what's going to happen? 2 times 0 is equal to 8. Okay, is that right? Well, on the left, that will give us 0 is equal to 8, so that's no. Um, what if we do 2 times 1 is equal to 8? Well, that's 2 is equal to 8, that's no. 2 times 2 is equal to 8. 2 times 2 is 4 on the left is equal to 8, that's no. Uh, well, we have 2 times 3 is equal to 8. On the left, that would be 6 is equal, whoops, that's not quite right. That's going to be 8 on the right. So 6 is equal to 8, that's not right, nope. Uh, what about 4? 2 times 4, does that equal 8? Of course that does, so that's yes. And then 2 times 5 is equal to 8. Of course that's not right, no. So what we say for this problem is that, um, what we say is that x is equal to the value of 4. This is the only value of x that actually works and satisfies and makes the equation true. Another way to write it is, you might see in your book, x is just a set of numbers. It only contains one number, one solution x is equal to